Hey guys, how you doing? Big John with J Custom Builds, man. So it's been eight weeks yesterday since uh, I had my knee, my knee replacement, and uh, whew, it's uh, it's been rough, man. I was told that I had to have physical therapy like no later than the beginning of the second week, I believe. But I was really irritated because I didn't get into physical therapy. Um, it's a long story until actually this Wednesday. So it was almost eight weeks before I got into physical therapy. And uh, yesterday, Friday was eight weeks um, exactly post-surgery and I had my first physical therapy appointment. So, you know, that right there really bothered me. I don't know what the deal was, I guess because it was a it was not a workers comp case that they, they, uh, they weren't in a real big hurry you know, to get me into physical therapy. So I called two different locations and they both gave me like six weeks out. And I was calling and calling and long story short, I didn't get in until this Wednesday that passed. And then yesterday was my first uh, day of physical therapy. I worked on my range of motion, you know, and you could see I got my leg bent and uh, I worked on that on my own. And what I did was for myself, I watched a bunch, a bunch of uh, physical therapy videos like on what you should be doing on your first week, nothing really second week, getting started on all this stuff, stretching and whatnot, mobility, just moving things around. And uh, when I went to my fifth week appointment, they saw that I had an infection on my scar and it was pussy and it stunk. And so I was concerned right so they put me on a uh, antibiotics and i didn't realize how strong these were because i was already on medication i don't like taking uh oxy right they had me on oxys and uh, i was taking the number five so they were having me double up on those so i don't know how many i was taking a day but the pain was pretty excruciating for the first i say week and then second week it was a little lighter <clears throat> the third week it was a little worse than that uh, not worse than that it was third week was a little bit better so trying to watch my dogs because this is the second time i've been out here since my surgery i was out here maybe three weeks ago for a little while but i'd never have the dogs out here together because for some reason when i'm around loki gets near me loki's a little black guy right a little black and gray guy and loki gets around me and him and leo have been like fighting you want me to let leo in? please him and him and Leo have been fighting. So right now I'm more comfortable now. I can actually focus on my video because my wife let Leo in and uh, Loki wants to go in too. Uh, we've had to separate them and really can't let them in the house um, together because for whatever reason, Loki gets by me and he sits next to me. And whenever Leo comes near me, Loki starts to growl and that triggers Leo and they start fighting. They've hurt each other pretty bad before my surgery. And I think once, like the first or second week, they hurt each other really bad. And so that's a whole different story. But anyways, Leo's in the house now, so I'm a lot more comfortable and uh, I can get my video done. So. So anyways, long story short, I'm in physical therapy now and I'm doing much better. But what was really hard for me is the first, second, third, fourth, and even the fifth week when I started the uh, the antibiotics for my knee, I didn't realize how, how strong they were. And so I didn't have my normal diet because I couldn't get up, cook myself, walk around, whatever. My wife is busy taking care of everything. And I felt bad. She was helping me do a lot of stuff, but I couldn't, I felt guilty asking her for help because she was already trying to adjust for the first two, three weeks to managing the dogs in the morning, getting them out, feeding them, separating them, taking care of me, getting ready for work and doing all that stuff. Anyways, uh, I got on that antibiotic like the fifth week and I wasn't eating right, right? And so, but the oxy weren't bothering my stomach at all at all at all so I, I mean i take a snack and take it no stomach problems nothing right and then when i started the antibiotic 
I didn't realize how strong it was. I was doing the same thing. I wasn't eating full meals. And within like the fourth or fifth day, I felt like I had a hole in my stomach. I ate lunch like I normally was doing every day. I was at the point where I was able to make myself a sandwich or a hot dog with chips or whatever. And like on the fifth, fourth day, fifth day, I was so nauseous. I was so sick. My stomach was burning, cramping so bad. I'm running back and forth to the bathroom. I'm sorry, that's kind of personal, but um, I wasn't able to take my medication, you know, and I didn't realize how bad your leg could hurt when you're not taking your medication like you normally would because my stomach was messed up. So long story short, that was three weeks ago and my stomach is still bothering me and I stopped taking that the antibiotic like five days later and it was to the point where I couldn't do the same thing eat the same foods how I was eating before because the even the the pain pills the oxys were just killing my stomach so my stomach's finally getting better um I was literally sick didn't work my leg out didn't do anything for almost two weeks and so what I was, what I meant to say about that was, I was so fired up, like around the fifth week, I that that when it started, when the stomach ache started, was the day I went in there to try to make a video. I ate lunch, went in there, and I have old stuff, right, that I was trying to, because I haven't made any new videos, obviously, so I was trying to see what I had recorded pr prior to my surgery, so that I could put something out. And so that was the day I got sick. I was nauseous probably was in there for 15 minutes, went in the living room, lay down, and I was stuck on the couch for literally a week and a half before my stomach even started feeling better. I wasn't taking the, the pain pills as I was, so this thing was killing me. But anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on, the reason why I haven't made any videos, and here we are six weeks later, and I'm just gonna give it to you straight. I'm really not gonna edit this video out. I just wanted to be honest with you guys. We haven't sold any tickets in the, the whole time that I've been off at all. We sold a couple of, like in, uh, was it uh, July? Like early July, I think we sold to two customers. And one of them was a new customer, thank you very much. And one was an existing customer, uh, thank you, if I, William. Appreciate you, man. And uh, so anyways, what I'm trying to say is I'm still using my walker. I'm trying to wing myself off of my walker, but I have some stuff that I never used before. You know, old takes and stuff that I never used before. Things that I started doing before I got hurt. And uh, I'm just gonna start throwing little videos out there. So I appreciate it, you guys, uh, for being patient. Uh, those of you who reached out to me, I want to thank you. I really appreciate you guys for reaching out to me. So today is Saturday, the 21st, I believe. And uh, yesterday was the 20th. It was uh, eight weeks post-surgery. And, you know, I'll be honest with you guys, man. I've had a lot of challenges in the last, you know, physical challenges and physical ailments since I started this business. And it didn't go, it hasn't gone as I expected we sold a little more than half of the tickets. I think we have like 93 or 92 um, spots that are left. My uh, raffle tickets right now are $100 for Sapphire, the 2009 that's full of dust, and Wolf, the 2010 Street Glide back there. They're all like full of dust, man. And this is just killing me because I'm a very physical person and I have not been able to come out here and do anything. So. I'm just being honest with you guys. I was doing really good. As soon as that infection hit and I started that medication, I was really, really depressed for the past three weeks because here I was stuck on the couch all over again. And it wasn't because of my knee, I was doing good. It was because my stomach got jacked up and I finally was able to talk to my doctor through a phone appointment and she told me that pH balance and everything in my stomach was completely off. Those of you who have been following me for a while, you guys know that I was really sick for two months with two bacterial infections and that's what it felt like. For that, I was really bummed out about that. I missed a lot of work and everything because of that. And so when this happened to me, you know, I just found myself laying on the couch again. I was just 
just really bummed, man. I was depressed. And so it's my first day out here trying to make a video for you guys. And uh, I'm just trying to bounce back. So I want to announce again that uh, I still have 93 spots left for the 2009 Ultra Classic Sapphire and the 2010 uh, Street Glide. I'll throw some videos and some pictures up there. The day I got sick, I was working on just a small video of when I received my brother's bike back in December, my brother-in-law's bike in December. And when my brother next door, Harold and I were putting it all together and setting up the garage. And then I'm going to show some before and some after pictures. I'm still battling with the lack of motivation and I'm trying to be as hopeful as I can, you know, just appreciate where I'm at right now in my life. I'm alive. I have a beautiful wife. I have some great puppies. And uh, if you have not joined my giveaway, I know that it's already fall tomorrow. And uh, man, all I want to do is just give my first bike away. It's two years already I've been trying to do this, man. So. If you guys are interested in winning a beautiful Harley, man, I got like 16 grand in both bikes, $100, $100, plus I'm donating $15 of that money to Tunnels to Towers. It's a great cause to support our uh, disabled veterans and our disabled first responders and our Gold Star families. It's a, just a great cause, man. So if you guys uh, care to support a great cause and want a beautiful, beautiful bike that's going to be delivered to your front door, take a chance. Head over to my website, jcustombuilds.com. Buy yourself a hat. We have six, six different colors, two different color men's t-shirts, black and charcoal gray, and four different uh, colored women's t-shirts. And I believe they're from medium to extra large. The men go all the way from a medium to a 5x i believe or a 4x if you have any questions please let me know other than that i hope you guys are doing great if you guys ride always remember to ride safe take care of everything you do and god bless appreciate it guys.